Andrew Mizzy joins us now. I mean, that was a nice trip down memory lane for us. Must be wonderful for yeah, you. Got me foot tapping. <laughs> it's really, really exciting. We've got this new album, Wham! The Singles, yeah. Echoes from the Edge of Heaven, available on pre-order now from the 7th yeah. of July. What is the, sing is the singles collection? So it's like everything, because I'm looking at the box here. This is how it's presented. Yeah, it's that's a, you know, an old-style seven-inch carry case, and I it's the seven-inch vinyl singles uh, it contained within, alongside other goodies. Why did Lots you goodies. decide to do this now because you know you've got your own life and you have had for a long time haven't you so i mean and, and you know yeah, I 60, met you, 60 I, years worth i met you oh, stop it i met you at the brits in 2017 and you know it was a lovely tribute to george that day i remember yeah. Chris martin saying different corner didn't he and he did, yeah. you did a wonderful speech about it. but you know it, how often do you go back and you uh, think about this sort of thing? well uh the it's 40th anniversary yeah. was last year of the first release uh, and there was always a, an element of, of Wham's sort of legacy being brought along in the wake of, of George's career. Yeah. But since his passing, of course, that, that effect is no longer there. So we, we are more actively um, developing the Wham legacy and, and, and this is our sort of initial first big hu huzzah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're kicking things off. I like to think in style with this, yeah. the seven-inch box set, and there's numerous albums, I'm loving coloured, this album uh, disc moment. albums, and CDs that go right across all the formats. So nice. Now this has got all the photos. on Yeah, it. that's the zoetrope. And what uh, happens with this? Well, as it spins, if you shine a, a light from your phone or whatever, you'll see one image moving. It's sort of a, a clip from one of the videos. They're all stills from from one, each of the videos. That's it, so it, it's clever. A, yeah, it is. I mean, it looks great. Oh, just as a, a, as, a, as a piece, anyway. There you are. So let's take take us all way way back. So when you first started. Um, How'd the band come about? I mean, most people, or no one probably know this story, but for people that don't know, <laughs> how did the band come about? Where did you guys meet well, at school, right? Yeah, we, we met at school. Uh, Yog came to the school I was at, Bushy Meads, when uh, we were in the second year, at the beginning of the second year, and he and, and we became firm friends immediately, really. And we talked about forming a band throughout <coughs> early... Uh, uh, we weren't quite as young as that, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> Through through our sort of early teens, and then and uh, he always said well, it's got to be after the O levels, and and after the O levels, we, so he when was, we were he took 16, his O levels seriously then. That's uh, yeah funny. yeah. There was a lot of pressure on him to 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 achieve um, academically, and and then after the O levels, he said well, it's going to have to be after the A levels. And I, I said no, it, it's it's now or never. <laughs> no, November the fifth, nineteen seventy nine. That was, and so we formed our first school band, which was the Executive. And then that we did a few gigs, we recorded a few demos, and and then it imploded uh, in in eighty one. And and Yog and I just decided to continue songwriting. And the first three songs we wrote were Wham Rap, Club Tropicana, and Careless Whisper. Um, when I say songs, there was sort of one song and then two bits of other songs. Uh, and we recorded that as a How demo. How did Careless Whisper take to write? Oh, well, it evolved over a course of um, a few months, actually. Yeah. Yeah, before it was, it was finished. Um, in fact, um, Shirley and I were living in Peckham. Shirley, Shirley Kemp, uh, yeah. who, who definitely my girlfriend, and we, we were living in Peckham at the time, in the, in the basement of her aunt's flat, and George used to schlep down from uh, Radley, and we used to work on the, on the song together. And then, and then he said, I'm not doing this <laughs> anymore, so... I had to move back to uh, some, the bushy way. <laughs> really? You made you yeah, move yeah, up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. To finish Gala Smith? That's great. <laughs> it's mad when you hear the, the, the music, though, because it's like banger after banger yeah. after banger, like every single song. I mean, can you even say that you've got a favourite song? Or would that be like choosing between your babies? It, it's, it's really tough because uh, I like several of them, but the sort of uh, top three, four would be um, I'm Your Man. Uh, Edge of uh, Last Christmas, uh, Everything She Wants, they sort of vie depending on my mood for mm -hmm. yeah, number one. But you spot. could change tomorrow. <laughs> could be. <laughs> and yeah. so, how hard was it back in the day for you guys to get signed? Because it was such an exciting and interesting time in the music. It was. Um, you know, we were, I say to everyone who, who listened, we were a product, I think, in some ways, of New Wave and Punk, insofar as it liberated music making for everyone. Yeah. And with the advent of four track recording, you could do it in your bedroom or your mum's front room, which is what we did. Uh, and so um, we, we, we touted our one and two fifth songs, three fifth songs around, and um, got no responses. 
But Mark Dean, uh, who was a friend of mine socially, lived down the road and uh, he was in the music biz and we knew that and I kept haranguing him to listen to the tape and eventually called, called us up and to meet up at the Three Crowns and Bushing and, and stepped through the door and he said, can I offer you a record deal? And that was big. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and what wow. was the moment where you looked at George and George looked at you and like when one of the singles was out and you went, wow, we're, we're, we're there. We're big oh, well, time. Well, yeah, uh, really that was when we, when we got the top of the nod for Top of the Pops. So we were, the Young Guns had come out, it was Wham Rap, um, Wham Rap didn't, wasn't a hit first time around. It got actually, it got banned, the, banned. Yeah, by the radio because it had the word C-R-A-P in it. Ah. So, um, yeah, so anyway, we didn't get the airplay. Young Guns was, was looking like it was going well, got up to number 42 and sort of stalled. And unless you were in the top 40, you didn't get on top of the pops. Sure. And, but then someone dropped out that week. Do you know week. who dropped out? No. I, well, funny enough, I was told recently, uh, uh, a good friend of mine, David Austin, he told, uh, he, he, he reckons he knows. Uh, he's probably right, he's got a good memory. But uh, I, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> <due course>. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so when we got top of the pops, that was, Wow, you know this because in in the seventh, in the eighties, nice. early eighties, it was the moment, and that changed your life. It's unbelievable, and look, you've got so many fans as well. I mean, Lewis Capaldi, he's a big fan. He's he's doing little twists on your music as well. Well, that the the Lewis Capaldi homage to Club Tropicana was uh, amazing. You know, the, yeah. frame by frame, absolutely perfect. So great. Yeah, it's ex really so cool. good. Cool. Yeah, and you've got a documentary coming out. Is that right? You make it. Yeah. So the definitive, the official. Uh, account of Wham uh, is coming out uh, July the 5th, I think it is. I'm not quite sure, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's on Netflix. And it is, it's, uh, it's really well worth watching. Chris Smith, the director, um, who's got an extremely uh, um, uh, brilliant sort of uh, portfolio. Uh, he, he has set it, contextualised it in a very unique way. And um, it's, it's, Incredibly authentic. Everyone that I know has seen it. it. Yeah, it's, it is a good one. Thank That's you. absolutely amazing. Wham, the singles Echoes from the Edge of Heaven available to pre-order now and released on the 7th of July. So good. Thank you for joining us. Thank so you.